We just tested these 20 different melatonin supplements, and I'm going to tell you some key things you need to know when you're choosing a melatonin supplement. I'm Dr. Todd Cooperman, president of Consumer Lab, and we've been testing these types of supplements since 1999. And interestingly, of all the thousands of products we've tested, melatonin is one of the few that I actually use on occasion and recommend to friends and family on occasion. Why? Because it actually helps trigger sleep. Now you need to be particularly careful with melatonin supplements because there's such a wide variety in dosage, in formulation, uh, including gummies. And I would say with gummies, be particularly uh, careful because a study in 2022 found that one third of gummy melatonin supplements actually were way off in terms of containing what they claimed. Some had none, some had as much as three and a half times the amount. Another concern with gummy formulations for melatonin supplements is that you typically take these before you go to sleep, which is a bad time to be putting candy in your mouth, especially something sticky and sugary. Now, Consumer Lab has been testing melatonin for about 16 years. This is our latest testing, and we have continued to kind of zero in on products that we think are good because they've been shown to be good in our tests. And so actually every single product that you see here has passed our test. Doesn't mean it's our top pick, but these all actually contained the amounts that they claimed within a reasonable margin. With that said, here are some tips to zero in on really the best one for you. First of all, you don't want too much melatonin. A child needs only perhaps one third of a milligram. An adult needs about one milligram of melatonin. Um, you can get away with three milligrams if you want to go a little higher. But really, when you hit five milligrams, that's really reserved for uh, extended release or sustained release, time release products, which may slowly release the melatonin over time. You don't want a burst of five milligrams all of a sudden in your body, and you don't need that to fall asleep. In Europe, for example, there is a five milligram prescription melatonin. It's only to be used for up to 12 weeks because no one really knows the long-term potential effects of melatonin supplementation. It is a hormone. I would also recommend staying with just plain melatonin, not a combination product with, say, chamomile or valerian or other things that have been associated with sleep because those combinations typically have not been tested in any clinical studies. Now, the other thing is that you don't have to spend much to get good melatonin. We have found very high quality products for as little as four cents per day. We've also found that you could spend as much as 10 times that amount or more on a melatonin supplement, and there's really no need for that. The only exception is if you want a time release product, those do tend to cost a bit more. We found a very good one for about 30 cents. If you're one of more than 95,000 Consumer Lab members who support our research, you can go online right now and see our full report, which includes our top picks among these products for low dose, medium dose, high dose, as well as extended release products and products for children and pets such as dogs.